everyone, and welcome to the February 11th game between the Stafford Bulldogs and the Granby Bears. The girls' teams facing off one another. You'll notice that the Granby team is dressed in, has some pink attire tonight, uh, as it's coaches against cancer night tonight. So the, the girls, as you can see, for Granby are dressed in pink. I'm Chris Saunders bringing you tonight's action, doing the camera, and I'll be able to chip in a, a little bit of commentary um, as well this evening. The Stafford Bulldogs come in with a record of 10 and 8. Uh, they've lost their last two games uh, to Ellington and Bolton. The Granby Bears coming in with a record of 11 and 6, um, and they have actually won their last four games. They've been on a, on a good winning streak. For the Stafford Bulldogs, number 33, Andrea Moulton is there as one of their fine players, averaging 12 points a game, five assists. And Jalen Moulton, averaging 13 points, four assists, uh, another one of their fine players. Their leading rebounder is Camden Smith. So it looks like they've got a youthful core as they appear to be starting three ninth graders this evening. They're coached by Scott Martin uh, and assisted by Kelly Fields and Taryn Roy. For the Granby Bears, Elsie Phillips is their leading scorer, averaging 15 points and eight rebounds per game. And Samantha St. Pierre, their second leading scorer at nines per game. They're coached by Mike D'Angelo and assisted by Katie Fajolik. So we're just about ready to start this evening's ball game. out the starting five for Stafford. And now the starters for your Red B. Red. And our senior one, Isabel Martel. And our Isabel Martel. Jara Payne. Jara Payne. And our senior 25, Samantha St. Pierre. Samantha St. Pierre, their second leading scorer, number 25. And forward, sophomore number 30, Katie Murak. Katie Murak. And then center, senior number 23, L.C. Phillips. And L.C. Phillips making up the rest. The starting lineup. It is time we ask you to all please rise, remove your hats as we honor America with the playing of our national anthem.
So both teams getting last second instructions from their coaches, the Stafford Bulldogs from head coach Scott Martin and the Granby Bears from head coach Mike D'Angelo. Stafford in the blue and white uniforms this evening, and Granby in the white uniforms with maroon lettering. We're just about ready to start. And the tip controlled by Granby. Shot by Phillips, no good. Shot by Jaylene, Jaylen Molt, no good, and Grandy with the rebound. Followed by Katie Murak, no good. And it looks like we're gonna have a jump ball. And that will go, the first jump will go to Stafford. Granby employing a full court press. Stafford breaks it. Shot is good by number 33, Andrea Moulton. Stafford up three to nothing on that three-pointer. Shot by Katie Murek is off the rim and out of bounds, but Granby will retain possession. Three to nothing, 6.52 left in the first quarter. Stafford is on top. Pass underneath to Murak. Shot is no good, but she's fouled on the play. And that'll be the first foul on Drea Oswell. Katie Murak to the line for two. First is off the back of the rim. She has another one coming. Off the back of the rim and Stafford with the rebound. That's intercepted by Murak at half court. Granby's right back with the ball. Shot missed by Samantha St. Pierre, and the ball goes out of bounds off of Granby. It'll be Stafford ball. Ball goes out of bounds off of Stafford. So Granby will inbound. This is Martell. The shot no good by Elsie Phillips and the rebound is up and in. Three to two Stafford on top, stolen by the Bears. But we have a whistle and a foul. Foul is against Stephanie Brown of Stafford, so Granby will retain possession. The shot by Jarrah Payne, no good. And it's knocked out of bounds by Isabel Martels. It'll be Stafford ball. Stolen by St. Pierre. Shot 
Shot by St. Pierre is no good. Knocked out of bounds by Stafford. It continues to be Granby Ball. Pass is intercepted by Andrea Moulton. and a foul is going to be against Granby. Foul against Jarrett Payne for blocking. So Stafford will inbound. Three to two, 520 left in the first quarter. Stafford on top. And we're going to have a traveling violation against Drea Oswell as she lost her footing and ended up traveling in the process. to the hoop by Jarrett Payne, no good, but the rebound is up and in. Elsie Phillips getting the rebound. Four to three, Granby on top, 448 left in the first quarter. Stafford will inbound. Andrea Moulton is tied up by Jarrett Payne. So since this is a tie jump ball, Granby will be getting it as Stafford had the last one. Granby inbounding. There's Martell into Murak, shot is no good. Back to Murak, shot is no good, but we have a whistle. Follow number 30, Camden Smith. And since Katie Murak was in the act of shooting, Katie will go to the foul line. First is off the back of the rim. Second off the back of the rim, Phillips almost comes down with the rebound, but unable to control it, and Stafford will get the ball. Pass is intercepted by Granby. That is good. Samantha St. Pierre, I believe, was the one scoring on that play. It's six to three. Granby on top with 417 left in the first quarter. As that ball goes out of bounds. Granby inbounds. Pass underneath for Payne, no, shot is no good. Stafford with the ball. Shot is missed. And St. Pierre, or Elsie Phillips with the rebound. Granby to Katie Murak for the layup. Three pointer by Andrea Moulton, no good. Pass picked off by Andrea Moulton underneath the Granby basket and we have a whistle and a foul. Ball called against Jarrett Payne, that's her second. A couple of substitutions, number four, Savannah Rischke comes in for Granby. 
and number 32, Kayla Davis. There's a pass stolen by Davis. She has the ball for a layup that is good. Kayla Davis off the bench scoring a hoop. 10 to three, Granby on top with 3.10 left in the first quarter. Here's a shot that is no good by Jalen Moulton. Granby with the ball. Shot is blocked. That was Elsie Phillips. But she was also fouled on the play. 10 to three, Granby on top. Three minutes, three seconds left in the game. That foul was on number 14, Hannah Fish. First one by Phillips is no good. Number five, Jordan Huntley checks in for Stafford. And St. Pierre hits the second of her foul shots. 11-3, Gramby on top. Stolen by Gramby. Pass from Rischke goes out of bounds, but it was tipped by Stafford. So Samantha St. Pierre will inbounds for Gramby. A turnaround by Phillips that won't go. Stafford brings it down court. Ball is off the foot and goes across the midcourt line, which is a violation, so Jalen Moulton tried to save it. But it'll be a turnover and Granby ball. Femke Jansen, number three, checks in for Granby. There's a nice feed from Phillips. To Samantha St. Pierre, 13 to three as the Bears have opened up a 10 point lead here in the first quarter with just over two minutes left to go. And we're gonna have a traveling violation against Andrea Moulton. have a timeout called. So after a slow start, the Bears have put up several unanswered points. They lead 13 to three here in the first quarter. Could be a little more, but they've had a, a little issue with the foul line so far this evening. Left a few points off the board but they do have a commanding lead at this point in time. Granby with the ball. Pass from Rischke. A little too much on it. Goes out of bounds. And it'll be Stafford ball. Pass is overthrown, but re-intercepted. Shot by Moulton is blocked. And blocked once again. 
Samantha St. Pierre with two blocks, but it looks like she got a piece of Moulton and was called for the foul. So Jalen Moulton will go to the foul line. She is Stafford's leading scorer, averaging 13 per game. She makes the first foul shot. And Jaylene Moulton for the second one. It's up and good. 13 to five with a minute and a half left in the first quarter. Grandy leads. Pass underneath to Phillips, but she's called for traveling. So Stafford has a chance to close the gap a little bit with that turnover. That is no good by Oswell. Phillips had blocked it. And the ball is out of bounds. Great effort by Stafford to try to save that ball. That was Drea Oswell trying to get that ball before it went out. Couldn't quite get it back in. Keep it back in. Jump by Kayla Davis, no good, it's out of bounds. Stafford ball. Granby has employed a full court press throughout and has proven to be quite effective. Inbounds pass is stolen. Shot is no good by Rishke. We have a loose ball and a jump ball. I believe it'll be Stafford's turn. We have 52 seconds left in the first quarter. There's a layup by Oswell that's no good. Samantha St. Pierre loses control, but quickly picked up by Rishke. Back to St. Pierre for a layup that is no good. Whistle, foul. That's Drea Oswell called for the foul. That's her second. And Savannah Rischke will go to the foul line for Gramby. First is good. Risky makes both foul shots, 15 to five, with 23 seconds left in the quarter. Pass is stolen by Rishke, trying to feed underneath, and it's stolen right back by Jalen Moulton. Her pass is intercepted by Phillips, who saves it in bounds to Rishke for a layup that is no good. And Moulton with the rebound. Long shot, no good. And that is the end of the first quarter. With the score, the Granby Bears 15 and the Stafford Bulldogs five.
So you're watching the Granby cheerleaders. Granby will get the ball to start the second quarter. They're ahead 15 to five. Granby in the white uniforms with maroon trim. The Stafford Bulldogs in the blue uniforms with white trim. There's St. Pierre, that's, and she's caught the traveling. So she got a few elbows after the fact, but the traveling came first. Stafford will do the inbounding. There's a turnaround that is no good by Stephanie Brown. Up the other end, Kayla Davis, the hoop for Grandy. Nice feed inside to Jalen Moulton, and she is fouled in the act of shooting. Follows on Elsie Phillips, that's her second. Jalen Moulton misses the first attempt. She has another one coming. Number 22, Addison Stout reports in for Stafford. Second one is good. 17-6, Granby Bears on top. Seven minutes left in the second quarter. Three point attempt that is good by Samantha St. Pierre. Ball is knocked out of bounds. Off Stafford, it will be Granby Ball. Jarrett Payne will inbound for Granby. Inside to Murak, the ball is blocked, no foul called. Stafford with the rebound. Three point attempt by Andrea Moulton is off the rim. Stafford with the rebound. Here's Jalen Moulton. Hers just comes off the rim on another three-point attempt. Here's Jayla Moulton now on a running drive that is no good, rebound underneath, no good. And we're gonna have a jump ball. Ball will be awarded to Stafford underneath their own basket. 20 to six with 6.02 left in the second quarter. Granby on top. A long three by Andrea Moulton. Hitting on that long bomb. Beautiful shot by Moulton. Shot from the corner by Davis is no good. Katie Murek with the rebound that is up and good. 22-9, 5.30 left in the second quarter. Granby leads. The inbounds pass. Sorry that I missed that on the camera. Kayla Davis knocked that out of bounds and it will be Stafford Ball. We'll try it again. Here's another three-pointer by Andrea Moulton. That is good as she pulls Stafford to within 10. Pass inside to Jarrah Payne. 
and she is fouled on the play as she was driving to the hoop. It'll be a shooting foul. Foul called on Camden Smith. That is her second. And going to the line for Granby, number 22, Jara Payne. First is off the rim with another one coming. She makes the second one. Puts Granby up by 11. With Stafford inbounding. We have a jump ball between Granby and Stafford, so we we'll get inbounded by Granby. There's a long jump by Martel that is no good. Here's a running shot by Moulton that's no good. That was Jalen Moulton. And again, we have a tie for the ball. So as it alternates, it now will go to Stafford. Underneath their own basket. Couple of shots, no good by Addison Stout. No foul called, even though she ended up on the ground. And that shot is knocked away by Stafford. 23 to 12, 409 to go in the first half. And we actually, we have a foul called on that. No, we don't, sorry about that. There's Martell, no good. Ahead of the field, Oswell, no good. And that ball is going to go out against Andrea Moulton, and Granby will inbound. by Payne is no good, gets a rebound. Martell from three, her shot's no good. But she comes back with the rebound, goes up for the layup, that is good. So Granby making good on a couple of rebounds, keeping the ball in their own end. It's 25 to 12, with 3.16 left to go in the quarter, and we have a timeout call. Granby is up on top. The Granby defense has been very impressive tonight. Their full court press has made it very difficult for the Stafford Bulldogs to get the ball up court. So the Bears have opened up a 13 point lead here in the second quarter. Pass is knocked away by Rischke. Loose ball, and we're going to have another jump. This one will go to Granby. And a fish gets up slowly, limping, and she's going to come out of the ball game. 
So it looks like Hannah twisted either her knee or her ankle. Hopefully she's okay. Here's Martell for a long jump that is short. Phillips with the rebound underneath, goes up and hits it. Nice tough play inside by Elsie Phillips. Here's a running layup and it's no good. And look what we have here. Yep, it's stuck. There we go. Now we're ready to resume play. The Bears lead 27 to 12. We have 2.30 left in the second quarter. And Stafford will be inbounding from their own basket. That passes off the hands of Andrew Moulton and goes out of bounds, Granby Ball. Shot is no good by Martell. But Rischke steals the pass, puts it up no good. Rischke keeps it, saves it from going out of bounds. Here's Martell with the shot that's no good. And Moulton comes away with the ball. It is stolen by St. Pierre. She goes in for a layup that is no good but a foul. Foul against Camden Smith. That is her third. She is the leading rebounder for Stafford, averaging eight and a half per game. So Samantha St. Pierre will go to the foul line. First is good. <laughs> Stephanie Brown back in for Stafford, number 32. And Samantha St. Pierre makes both foul shots. 29 to 12, Granby on top. We have a whistle and a foul. And that is going to be against Samantha St. Pierre. She did not have her feet set, so she was called for that foul in that collision. Here's a shot by Gill that is no good, and it is out of bounds. Senior Angelina Gill is number three. She recently reported in for Stafford. Here's a shot by Jalen Moulton, no good, and it goes out of bounds. It's Granby Ball. There's a long jump by Martell and she hits it. That was a two pointer by Isabel Martell. 31 to 12, Granby on top. Granby knocked it out of bounds. We have a minute 20 left in the first half. So Stafford will inbound. Again, a full court press being employed by Granby. Broken by Jalen Moulton. Ball goes out of bounds off of Stafford. And Granby will take over possession. It's a pass underneath to St. Pierre. Her shot is blocked by Drea Oswell. And Stafford comes away with the ball. And Jalen Moulton loses control of the ball. It goes out of bounds. 31-12 with 50 seconds left in the second quarter. The Granby Bears 
leading the Stafford Bulldogs. Pass underneath. It is good as Elsie Phillips converts. Here's a long shot by Jalen Moulton that is no good. Number 33, Andrea Moulton replaces Jalen Moulton for Stafford. Underneath to fill shot is no good, but we have a foul. It's called against number 14, Hannah Fish. That is her second foul. Stafford is over the limit with eight fouls. First one by Phillips is no good. Phillips makes the second. Kayla Davis reports in, replacing Elsie Phillips. 34-12, 19 seconds left in the half. Granby on top. There's a running layup. No good. That was by Oswell and Granby with the rebound. With five seconds left. Long jumper is no good by Martell. And that is the end of the first half. With the score, Granby 34 and Stafford 12. So Granby scoring 19 points in the second quarter and Stafford scoring seven. The Granby defense has been tenacious tonight. They have started the, they started the ball game with the full court press and it has proven to be very, very effective. And now here are the Granby cheerleaders. to the Granby cheerleaders who work very hard at their craft. As you can see, it requires a lot of athleticism. We're ready to begin the second half of this February 11 game between the Granby Bears and the Stafford Bulldogs. The pass inside to St. Pierre who was fouled, or make that Elsie Phillips who was fouled. 34 to 12, the Granby Bears lead this one. And that foul will be against Hannah Fish, that's her third. Oh. 
First is No Good by Phillips. Granby in white uniforms and maroon trim. Stafford in the blue uniforms with white trim. Second one by Phillips off the rim, no good, but it looks like it's off the knee of Hannah Fish. So a break for Granby as they will retain possession. Here's a jump no good by Payne. Stolen by St. Pierre. Puts up a layup that is no good. There's a shot that is good. Maybe that was Andrea Moulton for Stafford. Pass is knocked away on a steal attempt by Andrea Moulton. Could not control it, went out of bounds. So it'll be Granby Ball. There's a pass that's picked off by Stafford. And to Andrea Moulton, her shot is no good but she is fouled by Isabel Martel. So Andrea Moulton goes to the line for Stafford. First one is off the back of the rim. And she makes the second one. 34 to 15, the Granby Bears on top with seven minutes left in the third quarter. There's St. Pierre driving for shot, no good. Pass intercepted by Martel. And to Phillips, her shot, no good. Rebound by Katie Murak is good. So Katie Murak getting the rebound and putting it in for Granby. There's a shot underneath by Fish that's no good. Martel goes in for the layup, but loses control of the ball. And Stafford will take over. Camden Smith comes in for Stafford. She will inbound. Granby staying with that full court press that was so effective in the first half. Ball is knocked away. And it's going to be off Stafford. So Granby on the turnover. Here's a th shot from the corner by Jarrah Payne, a three-pointer. That puts Granby on top, 39 to 15. St. Pierre with the steal. She goes in for the layup that is no good. Rebound by Martell is no good. Martell comes down with it. Back outside to Payne, no good. Rebound St. Pierre, and it's good, and she's fouled. Yes, and it counts. So some fine hustle underneath by the Granby Bears. And Samantha St. Pierre can make it a three-point play with this foul shot. And she does. 42 to 15, the Bears on top with 528 left in the third quarter. Shot by Moulton, no good. Rebound, no good. Yeah. 
There's a layup that is good. That's Jara Payne again. And she has a chance to make this a three-point play. Number 41, Drea Oswell in for Stafford. Payne makes the foul shot, and Granby now has opened up a 30-point lead. And with that, they back off defensively and move away from that full court press that they've been doing. Here's a long three shot attempt by Andrea Moulton that's no good, but Stafford comes down with it. Here's another three pointer by Moulton. No good, save attempt by Jalen Moulton, but it went out of bounds. Number four, Savannah Rischke, and number 32, Kayla Davis in for Granby. Here's Phillips with a shot block, but Rischke comes down with the rebound and puts it in. 47-15, 4.28 left in the third quarter. Granby in the lead. Stolen by St. Pierre. Layup, no good. We have a push off. That is against Jalen Moulton. That is her first. So Granby will inbound from underneath their own basket. Rischke with the shot, no good. is knocked away by Martell. Picked up by Kayla Davis. Jump ball. And we have some substitutions for Stafford. Alexandra Love, number 45, is in. And number five, Jordan Huntley is in. And for Granby, number two, Grace Bennett reports in. Running shot, no good. And a violation called against Stafford for not making a move towards the basket. So that turnover goes to Granby. This pass is stolen by S Stafford. And the layup is good by Jalen Moulton. And she was fouled on the play. Foul is on number 12, Emerson Wheeler, who just reported in for Granby. Jalen Moulton converts on the three. 47 to 18, 244. Left in the third quarter, the Granby Bears are on top. There's an attempt by Grace Bennett that's no good, but prior to that, called for traveling. One step too many.
Here's Rischke ahead of the field with the steal. Her layup is good. Savannah Rischke with the layup. And we have a timeout called. 49 to 18, the Granby Bears on top with 220 left in the third quarter. Stafford on the inbounds. A nice pass underneath. Shot is missed by Drea Oswell. Long jump by Femke Jansen that is off the rim and misses. And here's a nifty layup by Jalen Moulton ahead of the field. 49-20, Granby on top and Granby lost possession of that ball. Dingley has checked in for Granby, number 14. Here's Moulton with a running shot that is no good. Rebound, no good. Grishke's pass is knocked out of bounds, and it will be Granby ball. Savannah Rischke will be inbounding for Granby. Pass is knocked away off of Stafford. Granby will inbound at half court. There's a pass that's stolen by Stafford and a layup that is good. Drea Oswell with the steal in the basket. 49-22 with 50 seconds left in the third quarter. Granby on top. Here's Rischke for a layup that is good. Long three-pointer by Andrea Moulton for Stafford. 51-25, 20 seconds left in the quarter. Granby likely playing for the final shot of the quarter. Nope, there's Taylor Davis going long. It's no good. Here's a three-point attempt by Jansen, no good. And a long three-pointer by Jalen Moulton. So with time running down, Jaylene Moulton quickly got it across and put up a long bomb. And it's 51 to 28. The Granby Bears on top.
51-28, the Grampy Bears leading the Stafford Bulldogs as we're about to start the fourth quarter. Grampy will in inbound to start the final frame here. Here's Martell with a three. No good. Shot attempt by Andrew Moulton knocked out of bounds. Granby outscored Stafford 17 to 14 in that third quarter. Three pointer from the corner by Jalen Moulton. Stafford trails by 20. Here's a three-point attempt by Andrew Moulton that is no good. Martell for Granby. Her three-point attempt is no good. Collision at center court between Jalen Moulton of Stafford and number 22, Jarrah Payne. Both players hustling after that ball. Quite a collision there at center court. But fortunately, both players get up. And we're hoping that that sting is just something temporary. 51-31, the Grampy Bears up by 20, with 6.50 left to go in the ball game. Side to Phillips. And Phillips will be called for the turnover. And a timeout is called. Granby Bears put together quite an impressive first half, taking a 34 to 12 lead. Third quarter was a little more even. They outscored the Bulldogs 17 to 14. And right now the Granby Bears have a 20 point lead. It's 51 to 31. Six forty left in the ball game, and Stafford will inbound. Here's a drive to the hoop by Jordan Huntley. It was no good, but Stafford retains possession. Huntley will inbound for Stafford. And that ball is going to be thrown away. Tough pressing defense by Granby, making it very hard to find someone open to pass it to.
Here's a three-point attempt by St. Pierre that is good. So Samantha St. Pierre hitting on a long three. Walmart got a bounce by Gramby, so Stafford will inbound. There's a three point attempt by Andrew Moulton, that's no good. Inside it goes to Risky on the pass from Samantha St. Pierre. So, Savannah Risky with the basket. 56-31, the Granby Bears on top. Five minutes left in the ball game. Shot by Stephanie Brown is no good, but she was fouled on the play. It looks like that was prior to her shooting. She was tripped up, so Stafford inbounds the ball. Here's a three-point attempt by Andrew Moulton. That's no good. Underneath shot by Phillips is no good. There's a three-point attempt by number 14, Hannah Fish. It's no good. Rebound, Granby. Pass underneath is no good. We have a foul on the play. That foul is on Hannah Fish. And that is her fifth foul. So number 14, Hannah Fish, is done for the evening. First one by Samantha, uh, by Elsie Phillips is no good. She has another one coming. She was tripped up while she was shooting. And it's good. 57-31, Granby up by 26. Three-point attempt by Andrew Moulton, no good. Here's Jalen Moulton with a real nice rebounded shot. 57-33, 3.50 left in the ball game. Out of bounds off Granby. Grace Bennett, number two. And Katie Murak, number 30, in for Granby. There's a layup that is no good. And on the ensuing rebound and shot, we have a whistle and a foul. That foul is against Savannah Rischke. That's her second. And going to the line will be Addison Stout for two shots. First one off the rim. 
Number 11, Patience Turner in for Stafford. Second one is off the back of the rim. Ball is loose, knocked out of bounds by Granby, so it worked out for Stafford. They will inbound underneath their own basket. 57-33, Granby on top. We have 319 left in the ball game. Here's a three-point attempt, no good, by Jalen Moulton, but she comes down and knocks the ball away. She, another three-point attempt. This one just rims and comes out. Underneath to Jara Payne, no good. I make that Addison Stout, no good. Here's Moulton, Jalen Moulton with a fine running shot. 57-35, 2.30 left in the ball game. Granby Bears on top. Here's a three-point attempt that is no good by Fenty Jansen. Battle for the rebound goes back out to Jansen. Another three-point attempt is no good. Kayla Davis comes down with the rebound. Again, a three-point by Jansen, and this time, she gets it. Third time's a charm, 60 to 35. Here's a shot that is no good, but a whistle and a foul. Foul is on Kayla Davis. Jalen Moulton will go to the foul line. First one's no good. Emerson Wheeler, number 12, and Maeve Bingley, number 14. In for Granby. Number 15, Alejandra Sierra, in for Stafford. And the second one is good. Angelina Gill, number three, is in for Stafford. Here's Maeve Dingley with a shot that is around the rim and drops off. And here's a steal. Layup off the rim, but a nice steal by Emerson Wheeler. She comes down with the ball. Here's Maeve Dingley for a shot that is off the rim and no good. 115 left, 60 to 36. The Granby Bears on top. There's a shot rejected by Katie Murak. Shot by Spalacy, I'm sorry, shot by Sierra is blocked by Maeve Dingley. And Granby with the ball. Here's Maeve Dingley with a jump that is no good. Saved by Stafford, but it goes to a Granby player. Here's Stout going in for a layup that's no good. Rebound, no good. By Lauf. Nine seconds left. And that is the ball game. So the Granby Bears with an impressive effort tonight. With the final score, the Bears 60, and the Stafford Bulldogs 36.
the Bears pretty much took charge in the very uh, first quarter of the game, outscoring Stafford 15 to 5. For a good part of the game, they put together an impressive full court press that was very difficult for the Stafford Bulldogs to break. So an impressive effort for Granby. The Bears now are 12 and six. They've won their last five games in a row and the Stafford Bulldogs drop to 10 and nine. We thank you for tuning in to this Granby Community Cable TV broadcast. I'm Chris Saunders running camera and also adding some commentary tonight. Thanks for joining us and keep your eyes open for future Granby Bear basketball games. Have a good night.